Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. In Season 4, we learned a few basic definitions for some real virtues, and this season we'll be trying to pin down the real meanings of some things that people treat like virtues, which aren't always virtuous. In other words, fake virtues. Today's fake virtue is diversity. In the last two episodes, we talked about how freedom and equality can be good and even virtuous under certain conditions, but when removed from those conditions are open to wild misinterpretation and are frequently a form of vice rather than virtue. Freedom can be a vice if we try to be free to do whatever we want, and equality can be a vice if you try to make everyone the same. Diversity, I'm afraid, is like this. If you pursue diversity for its own sake without clarifying what kind of diversity you want, you'll end up doing a lot of very evil things to a lot of decent people. For whatever reason, diversity for its own sake seems to be a major threat in modern businesses to the point where many company websites, both commercial companies, manufacturing companies, and especially academic and college websites, have a diversity section of their website. It makes me sad to even have to bring this up, but prioritizing diversity over talent has materialized in our culture as a sort of gross overcompensation for the old prejudices, none of which has completely vanished, by the way. All things considered, it's easy to see how diversity, pursued recklessly or in the wrong way, could be a very bad thing. So the question is, what is diversity? What is it about diversity that makes it good or bad? Diversity is good when it's pursued in good ways and for good purposes. The point of diversity seems to be to prevent prejudice, and preventing prejudice is certainly good as outcomes go, though still not a virtue when taken to extremes, such as locking people in prison for being prejudiced and other such things. Many kinds of prejudice are bad. Discriminating against someone based on their race, for example, or their height, weight, scars, hairstyles, etc. Why? Because none of these, except at ridiculous extremes, would prevent a person from doing their job, behaving well at school or work, engaging in honest study, faithful worship, or reasonable interpersonal discussion. None of these things robs people of their basic rights, or seeks to distort the meaning of what a right is. We should be focusing on respecting the basic human rights of each person, which means life, bodily integrity, social and cultural liberty, personal respect, freedom to seek the truth, free speech, etc. In this sense, diversity is a good thing. Think, for example, what would happen if we didn't let very tall people run for public office? We'd never have had Abraham Lincoln as our president. Think what would happen if overweight people were never allowed to be recognized publicly as scientists, philosophers, or politicians. There would have been no Benjamin Franklin, no Winston Churchill, no Thomas Aquinas. Clearly, being fair to people within society, regardless of their race, height, weight, etc., is good because the goal of this kind of diversity is fairness. However, there is a kind of diversity which does not have fairness as its goal, the kind that chooses to assemble a team, board, or committee based on diverse characteristics, not based on quality or qualifications. This is the kind of diversity people don't even want to talk about, but it does actually exist, so I have to bring it up. Suppose that a bright young girl is raised in a normal, middle-class American home. She receives little support from her parents, but slowly, surely, gets her education and receives a degree in biology, then goes on for further study abroad. Finally, having gotten doctorates in two major fields, she returns to America and applies for a job as a biology professor at the university she once attended. Now, one such position is open, and she is clearly the most qualified for it, but the dean decides not to hire her because they need somebody non-white on staff. This is the kind of diversity that is pure evil, the kind that is not based on fairness but on filling up an invisible quota, and this kind of thing is really more commonplace than you might think. If you want to ask whether a diversity-motivated action is just or unjust, ask yourself this. Is the goal of this action to be fair to people? Am I trying to reward good effort or good behavior? Or am I just doing this to be diverse or support diversity without thought for whether it's right or not? This is always the question when it comes to diversity. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.